Hello everyone, welcome to a new video. As promised, today we have a new clothing haul. This is going to be a massive, um, very, very big uh, collective uh, summer haul. So, instead of me rumbling, let's just start. I scooched a little bit to this side so you can see the try-ons here but we are going to start with dresses and the first dress is this very silky blue one It's a maxi dress, as you will see, and um, it's from a brand called uh, Reserved. Um, anyway, uh, so I like it very, very much. I think that the color is great, the fabric is amazing. Um, I believe this is uh, viscose, so it's very flowy. Once you iron it, it also stays um, very nicely, um, I don't know, straight. Um, yeah, I really like it. So, next dress we have exactly the same one, but in red. I got not one, not two, but three of exactly the same dress. Yes. Anyway, I love how the dress looks on me, so why not? And uh, it was on sale, uh, so again, I bought it in all available colors, and that is blue, red, and black one, which is coming next. Anyhow, another dress. As promised, here's the black one as well, and you will see trying um, the black one and the red one uh, are a bit smaller the blue one um, is a size bigger than I need but um, it was sold out and in my size and I still believe that it looked good um, I do think that uh, the black one is the one that fits me the best. I feel like the sizing is always a bit off in all brands, like even if you buy uh, the same piece in different colors, then it might uh, look different. So that's the case with these dresses as well. I do believe that the black one suits me the most, although I have worn it the most as well, so maybe it is kind of um, shaped uh, with my body. I don't know, maybe not. Another black dress, um, this time is from a brand that I really like a lot. Um, I've done hauls uh, with pieces from this brand, mostly dresses as well, uh, last year. And I went back this year because I wanted to check if they had something on sale. And I got this dress. Um, you will see it better in the try on, but it's a black dress that has kind of a tie a situation going uh, in the front. This dress, to be honest, uh, is a bit, um, um, how should I say it, a bit more 
risque for me um, or a bit more risque than I usually uh, wear. Nonetheless, I saw it and I thought it was cute and uh, again it was on sale. Most of the pieces that I'm showing here were on sale uh, during the summer sale, etc. And it is a collective haul from starting from June until now. So even though there are a lot of pieces, and when I say a lot of pieces, we might be here until tomorrow. No. We won't. If I don't ramble, right? But I just wanted to say that it took me more than an hour to try them all on. And when I gathered everything, um, I was a bit uh, scared of the amount of things that um, were in total. But um, anyway, it is what it is. So the dress. Um, again, it's a bit more uh, open that I usually wear, but um, I'm going on holidays in September in Spain and I don't know, I thought it would be a good dress to wear that there. Um, maybe it's not a dress that I'm going to wear a lot here in Germany, although we will see. I think it's cute. I like it. Another dress. I did not even count how many dresses we are going to have, but um, if you like, count them for me and let me know in the comments. Another dress is this leopard one from Zara. The previous one was from a brand called Edited. Um, anyway, but this one is from Zara. It's a short dress. Uh, I have worn this already to go to a museum, uh, but um, I thought it's cute. I saw it when uh, it was um, in Zara's store. Uh, but I thought it was too expensive for the quality uh, when it was normal price, right? So I thought that I should wait and I did and uh, when the sales uh, started I was able to buy it. Um, I believe it was almost half of the price. So I thought that was a fair uh, amount to pay for the dress. It looks cute. Again, it's not the best quality. Um, but I mean, it's just another piece in my wardrobe, I guess. So another dress. We are flying through this. Uh, as I said, it is because of the amount of pieces that we have. Um, yeah, so I don't want to take too much time. But there we have another dress. You may also see that there's a, a bit more color um, in my haul than usual, right? But the colors are quite repetitive. It's either red, which I'm very much into at the moment. Um, I think that I've said this already uh, while filming videos and obviously while editing videos. Um, I need to stare at my face for uh, quite a bit of time, right? So, uh, yeah. Uh, anyway, but uh, all that uh, jazz apart. I can see that um, uh, my skin, the, the tone of my skin
skin, my hair, etc. looks good again with black and I also notice with red so that's why I'm trying to buy a bit more pieces uh, that are red okay but here's the dress um, it's a red one again from the brand Reserved I haven't worn this one yet but I really like it um, actually I thought wearing it uh, to a dinner um, on a trip that I recently had um, but um, I was so full and bloated from all the food that I had during that trip that I was like, okay, I'm not going to wear this type of dress for dinner because we are going to eat more and I am going to look pregnant which is fine, but um, anyway, I did not want any clothes to restrict me from eating all the goods but I like this dress very much I like the color and I like the shape like the off-the-shoulder thingy that is very discreet as well uh, I think it is chic I think it can be dressed down, dressed up uh, something that I can wear for like a special occasion and also again like for a dinner uh, with some sneakers something like that just to change things up uh, here we have another dress this one is uh, from Edited and uh, this dress uh, is one of my favorite pieces that I got uh, from everything that I'm going to show here as well today um, I like it very much um, again, I have not have not worn this uh, yet but again, it's a long dress with some cutouts on the side and uh, the way that I was trying it and like on the white background and with my white skin it literally looks like there's nothing there obviously uh, it's just uh, an illusion but I thought that the effect was really cool besides that it has really long sleeves that go past like my um, I don't know go past my pulse or my wrist and I like that I like that and I really like the dress again, it can be dressed up, dressed down uh, for me, I'll probably dress it down wear it casually with some sneakers so, there we go okay but this time, for real, we are going to have something different which is another red dress I mean, seriously, right? I, I have said this in my previous uh, hauls and stuff like that I do not um, promote um, overconsumption uh, or consumerism in general um, I don't know, actually I do know what got into me um, I started a diet in April, back in April like a, not like a crush diet but like very calculated and everything like blah blah blah, I was following all the steps etc 
and um, I was going to have like a trip in June so I was like, hmm, yes, I'm, I'll try to lose some weight until then because I know that I'm going to be traveling, I'm going to eat a lot and um, yeah, so in preparation to the trip I started to, you know, try to lose some fat Anyway, it all went well, I lost like 2 kilos, etc and then the trip went on um, it lasted uh, two weeks that I was on holidays and I did allow myself to, you know, eat things that I might not eat on a daily basis otherwise but after that trip I gained four kilos and I was like, the math is not mathy what kind of system is this? How did it took me two and a half, almost three months to lose two kilos? And then in just two weeks, I gained four kilos. I mean, excuse me, but <sighs> anyway. So with all that frustration, first of all, I already started buying things during the holidays. Um, because I was uh, going places and shops that are not available otherwise uh, to go in person, right? Anyway, and I was feeling kind of fat No, not kind of fat But like, I was feeling a bit like Oh my god, uh, this doesn't fit me anymore That doesn't fit me anymore and I'm like, okay, I need to buy some new clothes so the reason or one of the reasons why we have all these clothes um, is that okay anyway, red dress um, this one makes me look like I, I mean, it depends on how uh, I style it basically, but it's a bit of a more classic um, silhouette. I'll say it like that. I really like the material, it's like that quality t shirt material. So it's very comfortable. And I really like the color, and I believe that styling it with some sneakers and stuff like that. Um, it would look uh, cool uh, but in any case um, this is one of those pieces that I'm unsure so uh, if you like uh, anyway uh, if you liked it let me know please also let me know which piece was, was your favorite but now let's go to the next one Okay, I thought that I was running through this, but we aren't even halfway there and I feel like it's already been a lot. So, another dress and it's another dress by Edited. I really like this one. Again, I just went on Edited website uh, to check if they had any uh, cute dresses on sale um, so usually they have the same dresses they just change the dresses that go on sale so I saw the dresses that I bought in previous years as well and obviously at, at a much higher price and since they have a really good quality as well so I mean this one is made in China but I saw a few that were made in Greece and in Bulgaria etc so um, again it's just a variety of distribution I guess but I really like this one um, more than I thought that I would like it actually when I tried it on um, I was surprised on how good it looked 
so um yeah i will be keeping this and again adding to my collection it's another leopard print but it's um it's a bit different a bit more muted uh, so i really like it okay but how many dresses could one have bought seriously anyway i'm not even sure if this is the last dress i'm just trying to dig here through the mountain of clothes that I have besides me uh, beside me um, anyway, but another edited one This one also surprised me on a positive side and I believe that um, it's really cute for now and also for autumn with like a jacket on top um, I have a leather jacket that I'm going to try on as well uh, that I really really like and I do think that it would look cute with this dress and like an, a converse black sneaker so um, I really like this one it's very comfortable as well it's like this sheer polka dot uh, material but it also has like a under uh, a dress underneath like a slip dress underneath so again everything is thought out and uh, very well uh, produced so yes another really really good dress by edited i'm not going to say that we are almost there because we are not but i do believe that we don't have any more dresses left so, yay! It's a shirt. The planes are not helping with this whole process, but I was saying it's a shirt. It's a red shirt. And it has this small bows all over it. So it's a cropped shirt. Um, from reserved again um, so I saw this online and I had like um, put it in my favorites because I thought like do I really need this but then I went to on well, my trip I saw the store in person and I went there and I saw the shirt and I tried it and I bought it that's how it gets you, right? anyway, but I think it's really cute and uh, the outfit that I'm wearing when I'm trying this on with the white um, flare jeans um, so again, since we are not wearing, uh, you know, um, I don't know, skinny jeans anymore um, and anything but skinny jeans are in uh, I thought I would give a go uh, to flare jeans um, I always like those and um, yeah I thought that the outfit, you know, uh, this shirt and uh, white flare jeans would be really really nice so I got some white flare jeans uh, these were from H&M and um, they were really really cheap I believe this was uh, not even 10 euros uh, that's why I got them uh, it was actually on the same day uh, that I bought the shirt so when I was thinking what am I going to wear that shirt with 
so I was like visualizing it maybe with like blue jeans and then you know white jeans and I thought ooh, maybe I could like I don't know buy the uh, white flare jeans because I have black ones and like really dark blue ones and I also wanted to buy white ones and like a lighter blue but uh, one thing at the time right I, I already got too many things but yeah I really like the outfit I think it looks cute um, again white jeans Okay, before I repeat myself again, uh, now we have a cardigan. Uh, this cardigan is from Mango and uh, I got it uh, full price. It was at the start of June before my trip. I mean, the weather was not weathering. Again, I have a few pieces that might seem right, but uh, what we were promised is a summer haul, right? But we are talking about summer in Germany, so yeah. Anyway, a cardigan from Mango. Uh, I thought that it looked like uh, it was expensive and uh, that's why I got it I was just, when I saw it, I like visualized this outfit that I'm uh, trying it on with so my trouser, my black trousers and uh, the cardigan on top uh, worn like a, like a sweater basically with some sneakers and I thought that it was just effortless and like, I don't know, expensive, cool, blah 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 so uh, that's why I got this cardigan at the time I thought it was expensive, I think this was full price it was like 40 or something euros but anyway, I got it and there we go. Uh, the other day I went to Mango again uh, looking for some uh, red uh, dress. It's very hard to find uh, quality looking red pieces unless they are basics like the t-shirt that I'm wearing or I don't know something else most of the things in red are, I don't know, for me they just look uh, cheap and um, not elegant um, anyway, but I saw the same cardigan in red and I thought, ooh, I'd like to buy that and I might, I might because they had a lot on sale but I still thought that maybe it will uh, go even lower in price so maybe I'll pop in the store uh, next week and I'll get me an exactly the same red cardigan okay but I did promise that I was going to repeat myself right and we have another red shirt um, this one is from Mango and I got it uh, when I went to look for some red pieces I went to most stores that were within my budget and even a few that I thought that okay, those stores are out of my budget I went even to those and I could not find like good red pieces anyway um, for instance I wanted some red jeans to, to wear with this shirt I think it would look really cool um, I don't know, with maybe like some white uh, t-shirt and then 
yeah, like red jeans and red shirt or something like that but I could not find like good looking red jeans so I had to get ones from Tommy Hilfiger which did not uh, come yet so I think they are arriving next week and I will see the quality if it's worth the price and how they will look on me but again my obsession with red at the moment I don't know, maybe I'm in my Aries villain era or something <laughs> but yeah, I got this shirt I think it's it's okay I mean, it doesn't look that um, cheap or expensive it's just flowy, it's okay and um, and with the whole thing of white jeans I thought that maybe instead of again like wearing the skinny white jeans uh, and flared uh, white jeans I could get myself uh, white jeans that are uh, mid-term so I got myself some Levi's uh, this is a seven to four high rise slim straight. Supposed to be a high rise slim through the hip and thigh, and then uh, yeah. So um, I have a few uh, Levi jeans already, and. Um, I mean, sometimes I go on Amazon and just check if they have any Levi's uh, 501s on sale I mean on sale on a lower price than a hundred euros, right? But I, I got these for I believe 50... Uh, 53, 55 euros so the quality is amazing. Uh, I think that they fit me very well in terms of fitting my body um, and the length itself. So I think that they are perfect and they are exactly what I wanted them to be. So something in between the slim or skinny fit and um, the flared fit. So yes, I like those very much and um, from all the pieces that we see today uh, this is probably to be one that is going to be uh, worn the most so I'm glad I got it on the opposite end um, this is a piece that I'm not quite sure uh, if and how I'm going to wear um, it's like a sweatshirt, but like, um, I don't know, it looks like a, some kind of sports team, uh, whatever. It was on sale, it was just 13 euros, and I was like, it looks kind of cute, um, it's something that I will probably wear at home only, um, with some sweat pants I might also wear it uh, on my walks around the lake uh, when I styled it I styled it with my uh, dark blue uh, flare jeans and I thought it looked kind of um, cute um, it's very boxy I mean I already got some uh, strong shoulders I mean, it's my body type, right? I'm um, kind of bulky. I feel like if I gain any more muscle, um, I'll be able to compete. I don't know where I'm going with this. Anyway, it's cute. It was cheap. Um, again, I'll probably wear it more at home than anything else 
but I like it. Another comfy thing that I got were these pink bubble pink um, sweatpants. These are from Zara. The last piece was from Mango. Um, I already used these uh, to go on a walk and also I went uh, shopping so I biked to the supermarket but they are flared, really cozy they have like this really fluffy interior which is a bit uh, too hot for um, most days now although, I mean, I said this is summer in Germany, right? so um, uh, we can't have too much of sun, right? and uh, warm weather because that's, that's how it works um, but again, these were really really cheap I believe this even wasn't even like 10 euros in Zara um, I didn't even try them on I was like on my way to uh, pay I think that um, it was when I got the leopard dress uh, and I was on my way to pay that dress and I saw the pants and I was like, you know what I'll take this, it's cheap I'll probably just wear it at home again, maybe on my walks around or to the supermarket but I think that they look quite cool so, with white t-shirt, with black t-shirt some sneakers, maybe like a hoodie as well uh, when the weather gets uh, colder, I'll feel very cozy and comfortable. Okay, now I can say that we are almost there. And now we only have a few pieces that you might say that have no place in a summer haul, but oh well, this is my haul and um, yeah. I'm the boss. But we got boots. And not only simple boots. Oh my gosh. Some hair stuck on it. Anyway, this haven't been worn yet the hair, it's from my carpet probably, from trying it on but I got these from Zara and they are uh, cowboy boots, right? and I thought that they looked so cool I was just going through like I do not need any more shoes says she while holding a boot and waiting for a sneaker to arrive um, I got myself new sneakers uh, from Superga because mine are very um, used and beaten now I mean I wear those shoes like I like nothing else seriously like Every every time I go out, I I wear my white Superga sneakers. They are just so comfortable and they look good, etc. Um, that model doesn't exist anymore, I believe. I looked for it and I couldn't find it, but um, I find the I found the next uh, leather ones that they have. So I'm waiting for those. And I don't need any more shoes, right? But these were only 15 euros on uh, Zara sales. I was just going through the sales and I saw this, and uh, the only size that they had was my size. And I was like, you know what? It's just 15 euros. I'm gonna get it. Um, I'm gonna pick it up at the store so I don't have to pay for the shipping 
so I mean I think that for how they look I think that they look really cool I think that they are really really comfortable something that I noticed that they don't make um, any sound usually uh, cowboy boots make a lot of sound when you are walking but these do not so um, I imagine them being worn with an outfit like I styled it with uh, like this oversized white or black uh, shirt that I have and um, also like all black outfit um, in autumn um, with these boots as well so I'm very pleased with this purchase and I do believe that the quality is amazing again for 15 euros that I paid I do not believe that I could have gotten a better deal and now another perhaps someone may say unseasonal for the summer a piece of clothing a leather jacket um, this leather jacket is from reserved again it's like a limited edition that they had and um, when I saw it I really liked it because it has like this pointy situation going on like on a um, like on a blazer not a blazer more like a vest you know but like in front when you close it it has like this pointy so it goes uh, a bit lower in the front than on the back and it's um i think it, it's just really cool that's what i thought when i saw this jacket um i will probably not uh would probably not style it exactly how I did in my try on clip but again maybe I'll wear it with my long black dresses uh, with some converse sneakers etc probably more in the autumn than now uh, but yes I got it because it just looks so cool that I thought I do have a few leather jackets but I always wear the same one a really old one that I have that is um, real leather so it did cost a lot of money and I mean it looks the best um, from all the ones that I have but uh, I thought that this was a good change because it looks a bit different and again I think that I'm going to wear it quite a bit in the autumn and years to come, I guess. Okay, another coat. And it's a black oversized um, trench coat. Very flowy. It's from a brand called uh, Vero Moda. And you will absolutely see it I mean not much better because the outfit that I'm wearing is all black so uh, maybe it was not the best choice but at this point I was already like at the end wearing all the things so I was sweating I was anyway uh, so uh, yeah but this this jacket I love the quality first of all I love how it looks from all the pieces that we saw here today this one is my absolute favorite if I could wear it every day I would I took this with me on my holidays because it was a bit fresh and rainy at the time 
and um, it's lightweight but I don't know I just feel really cool wearing it and like how long it is how just flowy it is as I said this is my favorite piece and um, I used to have a black uh, trench coat but it was uh, slightly a bit more fitted and um, shorter as well and it was really old so I left it uh, back in Portugal in my parents house so I thought that I really needed a lightweight uh, black trench coat so I got myself one and I'm very very glad with this purchase I think that I'm gonna say it a third time but this is my favorite thing from this entire haul so yeah okay we made it I know it was a lot but I mean I promised a summer haul collective massive summer haul and that's what I delivered <laughs> last piece is another trench coat another black trench coat but this time is a cropped one and it is also from reserved um, I also ha had this uh, piece on my favorites for a very long time and uh, then uh, when I saw that it went on sale I got this coat and the leather jacket at the same time online uh, and I was absolutely not disappointed the quality is perfect uh, it holds a bit more of shape uh, it's not as flowy as uh, the other trench coat and I got it because when I was in high school I used to have a very similar cropped trench coat that had this like um, frill at the end of it and I thought it was uh, the coolest thing ever I wore that coat to death I wore it so much that like the buttons that were black were starting to like lose their color so it did look like it was worn quite a bit and um, I just thought it was so cool I again I had this outfit like my uh, black roll neck that jacket like a really big necklace and my skinny jeans my black and white converse and I thought I was the coolest uh, anyway in my small village no that, that's not true there were other people who might have been a bit more cool than I but anyway I thought that I was really cool in that outfit so that a little bit of nostalgia uh, brought me to this jacket which is not the same again it doesn't have that frill uh, if I find a picture of me wearing it because I bet there are a lot but I will post it so get ready for Raven in her uh, youth um, anyway but uh, that's it for the haul uh, I hope you enjoyed it um, I started with all the dresses because I thought that that was a bit more summery um, and we did end on things that are not as summery but I still think that they are cool and I do sometimes buy things that are not summery because they are on sale during the summer so even though there are a lot of pieces here today um, I hope, fingers crossed, that um, my bank account uh, did not suffer that much I know it did but anyway 
trying to end on something positive, right? Uh, oh well. If you enjoyed the video, if you would like to see my face again, um, if you are still here, please consider giving this video a like. It helps me. It um, helps the gods of YouTube. Apparently, apparently, it's time for me to go. Because, anyway. But thank you for being here today and I'll see you next time.